Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. Lands and right, lands and right, where are we going? <laughs> That's not the right button. Lands and right is over here. Uh, let's see, where, where am I going? Oh, where is this? Ah, it's down there. Go on, yow yow. <laughs> oh! Was this always decorated like this? I think not. This looks new. The lantern right. Look how shiny that is. Wow, they really did. Like, you can... T oh. They've added, like, physics. <laughs> when the sun hits it just right, it tries to blind you. Um... Anyway, anyway. Ooh! It's a kaching. Uh, Kaching and Charlotte. Paima never thought she'd see you two together. I nice see you again, Keiko and Paimon. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? Not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kaching about purchasing a kite. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Uh, well, yes, and... It seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Right is kites. Oh, so that's why Paimon's seen so many floating in the sky. Uh, your harbour is always changing, so it's only fitting the Lantern Right should change in turn. The Chiching believes it would benefit Leah to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. Uh, yeah, I remember my business meeting with Tian Chen Ningguan the last time I was in Liyue Harbour. Uh, that's what it was about. Uh, but all I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguan to some interesting people. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. In the end, we decided to combine Leah's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. But don't kites just use the wind to fly? What would you need to add? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail around helplessly like a sweet flower. But I've got out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Exactly. Leo is now a nation ruled by humans after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Thus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. That's not a bad idea. Uh, right, I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. Uh, with Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. A new mechanical kite is already, already available to purchase from a store in the harbour. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Uh, cool, turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon. Uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. You see, Miss Kaching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time-honoured cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered play things more than anything now. But to me, they're so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is a slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Leah's cultural traditions. There's also uh, an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper flying true and sound, a lone traveller wanders just waiting to be found. Send them love, send them words, send them homeward bound. In the past, poets from Leo used kites to symbolise a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate this tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. As a Kaching we know, always thinking five steps ahead of everyone else. Well said, Miss Kaching, I've learned quite a bit myself. As long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it off away as an offering. That way you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. Now what about something more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learn the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First they use thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste onto the frame, and tie on the string. Then you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and then let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? I'm going to jot all of this down. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolise freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Fascinating, what else can you tell me? The scissor tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolises good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colours also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in the earth, kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine? Wait, Fontaine knows about the language of flowers? I didn't know about this. Uh, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested in this, Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. 
It could be a useful reference. That'd be a huge help. Uh, great, looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. I hope it goes well. Perfect, we're going to take a look around. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. I almost forgot the Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. Miko, if you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honour among along with a secret prize. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. I will be there. I was on board the moment you said secret prize. I also want to know what the secret prize prize is, because I love a good secret prize. Uh, then I look forward to seeing your performance. You bet, see you then. Okay, okay. I forgot how much dialogue events have. This is gonna be a long stream. <laughs> uh, wait, Keiko, take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Uh, yeah, I see them. It's just Paimon or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kachin and Charlotte just now? They seem fishy. Ooh, these two. Uh, the Chi-Ching do attract a lot of attention. Oh, well, yes, but something's up. Paimon just had a bad feeling. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during the fight. Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know, before their plans before they even begin. Wow, Paimon moves fast. I've never seen her move this fast. Huh? <laughs> I've never moved this fast we have important things to do. Uh, you go right, Paimon will go left. Wait, Paimon! And that's the official start of the quest. What did Paimon do? I have no idea. I guess we gotta go. Oh no, she's she's off, she's off. Paimon, 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 please don't do that. Please. They might not be that suspicious. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, okay, what sorts of happiness have I got? Um, as Valentine's eat a ice cream while you sit alone in the dark. No, but also perfectly valid, but no, at least turn the lights on. Um. <laughs> oh, we're trying to piece of it. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're doing Lantern Rite, finally. Ah. <laughs> uh. They are interested people. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Ah, oh, yes, Paimon's off causing trouble. Always. <laughs> oh! We we really did confront them, left and right. <laughs> uh, we hear this, you want to I'll go left, and she's running away and making it my problem. I mean, in a way she is, except she's running towards the trouble and making us save her. Therefore, it is our problem anyway. But, like, if she'd run away, we wouldn't have to deal with this. <laughs> But anyway, um, this guy has... Has he got eye bags? That's usually a bad sign. Or is it just the top of his glasses? I don't know, I feel like the evil characters always look tired. <laughs> um, oh! It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. I sure hope Paimon's going to explain because I don't know. Uh, well, where did this funny daddy come from? You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you up to no good. Tell us everything. Start with your name. Uh. One bears no secrets before. One bears no secrets. One bears no secrets. Hmm. <laughs> I have a little bit of a suspicion here. Which one are you? Who are they? Mountain Shaper? Cla no, Moon Carver? Which one are you? Which one are you? Hmm. I'm gonna go with Moon Carver. Because like, Mountain Shaper is more like red and black, no? Like the other guy. <laughs> I think it's the color of the bird. Moon Carver was more like brown and green. <laughs> Uh, one bears the secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus Moon Carver. <laughs> I, I promise you I hadn't actually read the half of the sentence yet, but wow, I, I was right, I was right. Look at this. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Paul. Paul John. I'm just, you kidding? That deer's got his head stuck so far up in the clouds, there's no way he'd humble himself down here with the rest of us. Paimon, I think he might be telling the truth there. 
Uh, you may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. I don't think Paimon's going to believe you just because you know her name. Let Paimon guess you're supposed to be mountain shaper, right? Indeed, Runecarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jiahu. Now, it looks like you did your research, but in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. Okay, Keiko, we're going to go straight to the middle and have you arrested for impersonating a death type. Preposterous, utterly preposterous. Um, if you really are who you claim to be, perhaps you can prove it. Right, tell us something that only adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. <sighs> you may recall that in order to preserve the tranquility of one's mountain, one planted cast crawlers around Mount Hula. In fact, the seeds are one of the Stuart Rambler's cultivars. Along among all the adepti, her horticultural skill is preeminent. Plant either wilts nor withers and is practically its practical use is undeniable, yet it does require quite the upkeep. After a while, one try tires of the effort. Thus, one has no choice but to frame to town to inquire if you would ramble at a gentler and more easily managed variety. On your way, you are accosted by a group of youths, and without revealing your truth form, were unable to extricate yourself of their presence. On the army serves, so you rambler had to personally come to your rescue. Um... How did you come into possession of such knowledge? The young lass, Yao- <gasps> Yao Yao! Yow yow! <laughs> the young lass Yow Yow keeps no secrets from Cloud Retainer! It's Yow Yow! We love Yow Yow! <laughs> oh, alas, one can only let bygones be bygones. I suppose they really are the Adepti. Uh, that might be more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and Paimon, sorry for suspecting you. But after being as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge. Right? <laughs> uh, take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. Few people will be able to see through it. You indeed have an agile mind, Keiko. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. I must look curious about something. It's just... I might not understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but why did you decide to come to the city, Moon Cover? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. <sighs> it is but an inevitable eventuality. Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Libra Harbour. With Lantern right near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance, yet to this day she has failed to appear. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action, and since our acquaintances dwell in New Harbour, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid. Cloud Retainer's in this case. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now it's time for one to retire back to one's abode. Huh? So you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the, angry, the anger that now consumes her. Now, Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it's hardly with an open mind she regards the arrival of this new technology. On surmises, she has shut herself away, refused her company, and buried herself in study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Uh, sure, leave it to us. Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern rent. Thank you for your kind words, we shall now depart. They're not going to stay for the festivities? Now uh, we got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble it turned out to be people we knew all along. Well, it's still pretty early, let's head over and check out the kite stores. Then wants to see what kind of kites you can buy to use in your competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. Ha! <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see, um... You're given a rose by the restaurant! Oh, that's so nice! Did you eat it? Oh, God! <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> um... You're going with Koi Lady! Oh, it could have been Koi Lady, but sadly, sadly it was not. <laughs> uh, oh, Eric, go have fun, enjoy your dinner! And hopefully I'll see you later. Okay, where's Chang Chang go? I just, I saw Chang Chang, I thought I'd say hello. Hello, Chang Chang. Uh, oh, oh, this is her regular dialogue. I thought, hope she'd had lantern right dialogue. Um, because she was standing next to the, the stuff. Have we seen the human forms of Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver before? Are they gonna become playable characters? I don't know. Um, hello. Why, wait, why are we talking to her? 
Now uh, welcome other two of you looking to buy a kite, would you like me to go over the different designs? Ooh, a scissors tail swallow and a butterfly and oh! Ah, this jade chamber design is our newest, it's been selling like crazy over the past two days. Does it also have a unique meaning? Of course, jade chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Oh no, that's Paimon's kind of kite! I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wives in order, Miss Junyuan? Now uh, yes, yes, they're just over there, the paper, bamboo and dyes, all the necessary kite making materials. A wonderful, I'll pack them up and get the guards to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Now uh, Yilong Wharf? I wonder what that place is like during Lantern Rite. Paimon would love to go take a look. Oh yeah, because it's part of the you are. Uh, the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then I could I trouble you to find Garming and deliver these goods together? <gasps> We're going to meet Garming! <laughs> Is Garming the guard you just mentioned? Yes, the communications office handles shipments and transports around Leo. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub-organizations. Problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families, so our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you're willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. Uh, we'll help. But we expect to be compensated, especially because it's a holiday. Uh, wonderful, you will of course be compensated for your efforts. Now, at this time of day, Garming should be somewhere in the vicinity. Just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wushu danced costume. Should be on your right. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite, I'll even give you a discount. You, you want to tell me anything else? By the way, do you know my aunt? Everyone calls her Granny Shan. I've heard her mention Garming before. Apparently, he's a nice outgoing fellow and an all around good guy. Huh. How oh, lovely. Uh... Okay, do. Can we buy a kite? Oh, I don't think we can. This is so sad. Have you got anything else to say? I even knew kites came in so many styles. Don't worry, I didn't mean anything untoward by that. Variety and novelty are a merchant's great loves, after all. If we could use such stylations in other products, hmm, maybe, perhaps, bring in some of those spontaneous ma machines we're importing. Yes, that could be a promising new market. Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, well, let's... Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Cute. Um, maybe or maybe not. Oh, a mystery. Love a good mystery. Uh, oh, the drawing furnace. Hello, hello, welcome. Uh, wait, I thought we had an agreement. Loser buys the exam tomorrow. Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. No way, coming. You're always the one picking up the tab. Wait. <laughs> I thought he was complaining that, like, this guy wasn't going to pay up for, like, a lost bet. But no, it sounds like this guy keeps winning the bets and not accepting the prize and this guy's bitter about it. Which is quite funny, but understandable. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to be a sore loser, I just didn't expect you to come from behind to win like that. Eh, that was nothing. All in day's work, friend. Perfect, Gumming is here. Hi, what? How do you know that? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Gumming. We just spoke to your guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Yilong Wharf. Oh, must have been Long Chao. Looks like I've got work. Gotta go. Uh, sure, do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all the way here. Uh, let me take them off your hands. It wasn't that bad, it's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials? I see, I see. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble. Five months still, I owe you one. And you must be Keiko. It's nice to meet you, thanks for your help. Huh? You know us? Huh, there probably aren't many in Libya who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, please excuse Ngjao if you forgot to thank you. Take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy, he's just super busy lately, running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? No worries. Uh, so, you are here for that, right? Yep, it's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Yulong Wharf and have a look around. Uh, perfect! We'll go together then! I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Order anything? Paimon! <laughs> Paimon seems to be drooling already. Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that right in front of our new friend? 
Don't worry, I understand. I joke about like that with my friends too. It just shows how close you are. You need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Uh, nope, our things are already packed. Always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Uh, oh, that's right. Then it's a going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I'm a guard, after all. It's okay, Garming. We are, if anything, we excel at combat. That is the one thing you do not need to worry about. Oh, what's this? It's Yo-Yo! Yo-Yo! <laughs> I love this already. This is such a good event. This is Yo-Yo! Oh, it's moving with my mouse. Oh. It's Yo-Yo and Xiangling. But what is it? I don't know. I don't know what this is. But I love it. I love it. Let's, let's, let's have a go. <laughs> Uh, this feels like a detour from what we're supposed to be doing, but that's okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, two familiar silhouettes. Ah, I think these are the little... Okay. Gonna do that then. Side quest time. Oh, I was gonna talk to this guy, but it seems he's part of a quest. But we're gonna talk to him anyway, and I guess we'll do his quest first, because we are right here. It'd be very silly to not talk to him right now. Hello! Uh, yo, happy lands and right dudettes. Say you two wouldn't happen to be the big shots who came looking for Garming, would you? We saw you before. You were hanging out with Garming, right? Totally, hot diggity. <laughs> Why does this guy talk like this? Totally, hot diggity, you remember me and my luck's on fire. I heard you two are the best of the best and there ain't nothing you can't do. I pop on over to Chihuahua. Chihuahua you rock to buy groceries every day and along... And even though it's so close, I still always hear people singing praises along the way. Um, that's right. We hear the cream of the crop. Pine one, it's the best at eating. Ain't nothing she can't swallow. <laughs> We're the best. Uh, hey, Paimon's good at stuff besides eating too. Uh, wait, let Paimon think for a moment. What else is she good at? Paimon, no! You are a very good guide. Uh, I've got it, can only people float. You're so white and light and fluffy, like a Persian adeptus. Flying alone is amazing. I mean, it should be super easy to carry stuff and makes work a cinch. You should help your friend more. <laughs> Here comes another strange nickname from Paimon. <laughs> the Pigeon Adeptus. The, pi the Pigeon? Pigeon? Oh dear, poor fine one. Uh, let's just ignore whether it's even possible for a pigeon to turn into adeptus for now. I mean, just wants to point out she's always been helping Keiko. For example, if Keiko falls on a really high place, Paimon will grab onto her and make sure the fall isn't too painful. <gasps> Paimon, is that? Have you been doing that all along? Because I fall off a lot of very tall places, and I usually hit the ground pretty hard. Paimon, are you sure about that one? <laughs> Even if Paimon wasn't strong enough to actually do much lifting, if Paimon really was a pigeon adeptus, she'd give Kick a boost while she's using the wing glider and help her fly higher and farther. You two gotta practice more, just like when I practice. We show with Garming, the more you practice, the better you'll work together. Rapport isn't easy to build. It just so happens I've created a fresh new game, Hold of the Press. It's called just Wushu Dance. Wanna have a go? Not only can you work on your teamwork, you can learn all about Wushu Dance. Just Wushu Dance, you wouldn't happen to talk about that big old doll right next to you, right? Bingo! Authentic Wushu Dance is downright devilish to learn. Even if you've got a pro showing you the ropes, you won't be able to stick with it unless you love it and have got the perseverance to match. I change the rules for one style of Wushu Dance, I switched out some props, and boom, this game was born. And it's also landing right now, yeah? Perfect for helping everyone enjoy themselves and work up an appetite to work off the extra calories. Just put on your dancing shoes, wear the dancing outfit, and see who can grab the most tea bricks. You can dance and bump all over the shop. It's a hoot and a half. It sure sounds fun, but Pamela doesn't think she's strong enough to wear such a big outfit and play with other people. So Keiko is really good at games like this, Paimon will watch and learn from her the sidelines first. Uh, bring it, I'm the dancing queen, terrific, this tea cakes will be a piece of cake. <laughs> huh, pigeon doctors, will you not personally participate? A pity. Ah, oh, it's not a problem, Keiko and Paimon will be travelling together for a long time to come, but plenty of chances to level up our teamwork. Also, you say Paimon won't just, won't learn a bunch about working with Keiko just from watching. Uh, you two are so close, I'm starting to get a bit jelly. Then please, right this way, let the dudette of legendary deeds step right up and just wish you dance. Pigeon Adeptus, you just sit back and enjoy the show. Is that Xiaomi? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a team thing. Okay. 
Okay. I did get a bit distracted though because I saw what looked like a giant stage. Why is there a giant stage? What's this thing? What's this thing? It looks like a work in progress. We're gonna go back. <laughs> we gotta have a go at the uh, the Wusho dance. Okay, okay. No pleasure, geez. You're positively glowing. Looks like you're raring to go. Ready for a round of just Wusho dance? Uh, oh, about the props and venue for just Wusho dance. Not bad, eh? All the mods are made by yours truly. I added several kinds of special circum powder to the dance suit and it all gets mixed together with when you pull the rope. The mixture releases a bunch of gas which helps you out but suddenly stiff and solid as a rock and proud as a lion. And no matter how much you jump and dance or bump at plants, you won't get hurt and fancy and safe all in one. It needs to be used on ships for a long time now, you know. Sailors use it to protect cargo. No one no matter how the wave toss around the boxes, the stuff inside won't get smashed to smithereens. Anyway, as for the venue, I rented it from the shop. A big old empty basement like that, just sitting there unused and wasted. It's sure being put to good use now. Plus, the shop is pretty dope too. Even going to the Wisho Dance game helps bring in big business, so we didn't ask for much rent. Depending on how things go, maybe I'll even get to be able to get Gumming over to put on a real show here. Uh, yes, I will have this dance. Uh, rock on, have fun. What is going on? You guys talking about chickens? <laughs> uh, oh, Jerry Bounty is saved from chicken? Okay, okay. It is true, I have never forgiven Child of Peace for suggesting the mock chicken. That haunts me. <laughs> no, Child of Peace, don't you do it. Don't you do it. I can see you. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> um... Anyway, things like I'll find out later. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, um, let's see. Okay. What's this say? Okay, we bump into people, it looks like. Okay, okay, okay. And then <gasps> Yow Yow. <laughs> tea bricks oh you can smack into people and steal their points oh different like le okay ah oh this is like okay different different gameplay style I see hmm oh no Oh no, there are platforms involved. This is not gonna end well. Okay, okay. Super spicy spirit? Huh. What is this? <laughs> what are these game rules? Okay, okay. I was gonna, okay, everything's gonna be on fire. Then this is fine. <laughs> I see. Oh, and then there's this... Okay. You know what? We're just gonna ignore the rules. Who needs the rules? Well... You know what? We'll try one of each. And then we'll see. Maybe I'll earn enough points, I won't have to come back. <laughs> Maybe I won't. We'll find out. Okay. Oh, it's gonna give me... No, I was as Yao Yao, wasn't I? Better give me Yao Yao. If I'm not Yao Yao, I will be disappointed. Oh, I don't like this. I've seen hints that Charter Feast is suggesting ideas to the drawing founder, and I am not pleased by this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. How do you how do you do this? I don't know. <laughs> Just run around? I guess? Oh yeah, oh. Okay. Can I go like this and smack into people? 
Oh, oh no, I also got smacked into. This is, this is not good. No! They don't smack into me. Oh. Go on, go on, yuck, yuck. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I do know what I'm doing, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> you just run around. You just, you just run. That's all you do. You just run. And everything is fine. You just smack into people and steal their tea bricks and everything is fine. Okay, okay. I have a lot of tea bricks. I think I'm winning. I don't like that. <laughs> Every time I'm winning, I get suspicious that I'm doing something wrong. Because I shouldn't be winning. Who let me win? This is not correct. <laughs> Oh, I'm not winning anymore. <laughs> Which is understandable. Really understandable. Okay, okay, okay. No! Okay, I think I'm losing now. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Okay, so that was... That was fine. <laughs> oh, I like these two. These two are quite funny. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, well, we gotta try the other two modes, though. Especially the one with the platforms. Hmm. A Rick Astley chicken? Please no. <laughs> a square washing machine? What? What? <laughs> Toaster? <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe I should have chosen taller characters. I could run faster. I mean, would that have helped me win the game? Possibly. But would that have betrayed Yao Yao? Yes. So we will never pick a taller character because Yao Yao. <laughs> because Yao Yao. <laughs> oh, that's this one. Okay. Uh, a brightly coloured household object. A sofa? Oh, no, please stop scheming. <laughs> Let's be Yao Yao. I am the shortest character here. It's okay. We just gotta stay on platforms. And that that's gonna be tricky in and of itself. Because I am not known for staying on platforms. But that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna give it a go. Okay, okay. One player one this time. How does this work again? Oh! Rude! <laughs> I was so mean! The person knocked me off! Okay, so I think you just stand on here for a while. And then you just... Oh! I would like this tea brick. I had to do it. I had to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Go on, go on, get on here. Okay, we both did it. It's all good. It's all good. This is kind of entertaining. The good thing is, the platforms don't rise. So I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> you just gotta you just gotta stand here. And all is well. Things are so much better when it's like this. <laughs> However, every time you stand on a platform, you just get like thrown off it by somebody with a lion thing, and that's that's quite funny. <laughs> okay. See if I can get this. Oh, I did. I did. I 
love when that happens. I love when that happens. Hey, no! <laughs> okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. That's pretty much as expected. But it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I don't think we could beat this person. Nothing I could do could change that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was fun. <laughs> what a silly little mini game. Oh, I shouldn't. I keep leaving you alone, and then I look back, and you've got worse ideas. A toilet chicken. What does that even mean? What What does that mean? <laughs> I don't want to know. Okay, Let, let's try the final one. <laughs> and let's see if we can get any points, actually. Ooh. Okay, it looks like when you have a total of 6,000 points, you have, like, maximum points. And uh, we have got 2,400. So we're not going to get all the way to 6,000 by playing one of each round, but that's okay. I'll come back and finish that later. First, we got to figure out what that spicy thing is about. Because I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> I'll find out. I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out. <gasps> A fox chicken. Oh. <sighs> is this because the word fox is banned in my Discord server? I did that as a joke, <laughs> but it's very funny. Um, okay, okay. Oh, there's a Nahida. Are you gonna stay Nahida? No, not Nahida. I think everyone else has realised that the tall characters do better. But Yao Yao. <laughs> okay. Safe zones are about to appear. Safe zone! New things, new things. Grab all the new things. We grab these. Be inside the safe zone. Oh, safe zone shrinking. No, thank you. Why is no one else coming into the safe zone? <laughs> Okay. 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 I'm not very good at this, but that's okay. That's... That's just life. <laughs> okay, okay. This is fine. And finally, Bumper Wooshar has added benefit. Okay. Do I know what that means? No. That's okay. I'm just gonna stand over here, away from everybody else. <laughs> Seems safer. Okay. Oh well. Okay, that one I don't think was as good. I liked the, um, the middle one, I think. The middle one was the best one. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Okay. Well, we tried all those, which means it's time to go find out what Yao Yao's one is. We need to find out what Yao Yao's mini game is. This is of the utmost importance. <laughs> this is 100% necessary. 100%. Okay, let me grab this. Uh, and then let's see this. Which I think what we were doing. And we just need to claim a couple more rewards. 
Okay. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, wait, what was that last one? <gasps> you gotta get these as blueprints? This is so exciting. I've gotta do that. <laughs> but first, Yao Yao. Where is it? Where is it? I'm in co-op. Why am I in co-op mode? Ah, because it puts you in co-op mode. Okay. We're in single player mode, so we can go find Yao Yao. <laughs> Um, let me see. Where are we going? Is that the Yao Yao one? I think it is. I think it is. Uh... <laughs> Clown chicken. Oh. Why? Why are you people like that? Oh, you just have to go for the tea because I called it our distraction. I see, I see. <laughs> no, not boss time! <sighs> you know, we could do later though. We could co op mode more of those tea bricks. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, round of fluffy something. That's eat. Jump and bump! <gasps> Is that Yagwe, I see? And Koba? Oh my, guests, welcome, welcome, and allow me, uh, Wenshin, to be the first to wish the two of you a joyous lantern right. Happy lantern right, Miss Wenshin. <gasps> Up there, you seem to be reciting something just now. What were you talking to yourself about? Doing some delectable desserts, or perhaps a revolutionary recipe? Uh, not far off the mark, nearly a hole in one. I was just thinking about the food Goba and Yuegui are gonna make. Uh, now, those are two names you know. You know Goba and Yuegui too? Aha, uh -huh, how could I not? You're looking at one of one min restaurants regulars, you know. As long as I'm not on the road, I eat at least seven meals a week at one min restaurant. That's a lot. Compared with my hometown style of cooking, first some lightly seasoned fare, then a spicy flavour bomb, it's just a smash hit. If I end up with too much heat heatiness, I just need to down some of the right meds and flush it right out. And after a couple of days recuperating, it's back to gorging myself in chow down. That sounds amazing, but uh, let's take it easy. Now, P Paimon also wants to try living like that. Anyway, I get to see Goba and Xiangling pretty much every week, and sometimes even a little Yao Yao. Yao Yao! When Yao Yao brings Yuegui along to see Xiangling, Goba and Yuegui end up playing together. Ah, oh, it's wonderful, no matter how exhausting work is, just watching them shake and sway is enough to sweep all your cares away. But I can't be the one being cured by Goba and Yuegui. I want everyone to bear witness to their cuteness for themselves. Well said, now this is something important, but just how do you plan to do it? Unless these things on the table are... Bingo, I just made a paper theatre featuring Goba and Yuegui as the stars. Everyone, everything you see here at the salt is a prop for the paper theatre. Paper theatre, that name sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Is it about the canvas behind you and watching the shadows on it? You guys have heard of paper plays, a traditional new art form. Oh, may have heard of them. By art pleasing the pictures and lights, you can make the scenes on the screen come to life. I've loved paper plays since I was a kid and learned a bit about them from Master Yin Gong. After I grew up, I became a painter, studying and traveling all over. While I was in Fontaine, I learned a few new drawing techniques and a thing or two about filming. I had quite a few sparks of inspiration too. Using paper plays as a basic, I tried creating a novel interactive game and thus the paper theatre you see before you was born. Paper theatre and paper plays also have very different styles. Paper theatre focuses on simple short stories that'll bring a smile to the audience. That's why this year's first paper theatre will be all about and especially at a Mabel story. Goba and Yuegui looking for ingredients to cook up something delicious together. Goba and Yuegui cooking together? That sounds really interesting. Ah, uh, fun and food in one place, so that's worth paying attention to. Mm, looks like you two are totally on board. Your excitement is inspiring. Then there's no time to lose. Please just relax and get ready to enjoy this paper theatre performance. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's like a puzzle. I love a good puzzle. Okay, well, what else do you have to say? Welcome, Gus. I'm ready to enjoy another paper theatre performance. How about the dish we made at the end? Oh, so you didn't notice that Jane chilies are indeed not among the greens in the Gavin Paper Theatre production. That's because the dish they're making is eight treasure duck, a real classic that, and not at all spicy. Family is used to food with lighter seasonings, and maybe something a bit salty if we're feeling adventurous, but not fans of spice. I don't think a person should just stick with the foods they like. As a child, everyone should gradually expand their culinary horizons, find their own taste, and learn to appreciate all kinds of deliciousness. Uh, this big, but big, it's a big world out there filled with so many mouth-watering meals. It's good to switch things up, even if it's for no good reason. Going with something blander first and something spicier can really spike your taste bud sensitivity. Even if I promote the cuteness of Goba and Yuegui, I'm also recommending this eight treasure duck. I'll have you know it goes well with all kinds of dishes. Huh. Okay, okay. 
but let me watch the play. Oh, uh, please enjoy. I am so excited. Okay, we're probably only going to do one because I think they're all the same. Yeah, so we're going to do the first one and then, and then maybe we'll come back. Maybe we won't. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it depends how quickly the quests go. Uh, press the management buttons. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, how do we... Okay. And then down, down, across, across. Oh, that's really easy. We're just going to keep going. <laughs> ah. Oh, you can't... Oh, you can't double track. I see. Does it? I see, I see. I misunderstood. <gasps> that was so cute. <laughs> Watching Uegui kind of shuffle around. Oh, that was adorable. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go down here. Mm, not enough, not enough. Okay, okay, let me undo this. Um. Hmm. You can't. What? How do you restart this? No, go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Into the bucket. No, that's not gonna do it. Or maybe it is. And then you can go back. And then you can go this way. And then you can go back this way. You get the fish. I see, I see. Uh, okay. Oh, now you can swap between the two. I see, they both have to go. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we're going stuck. That's okay. Just go like this. <laughs> okay, Goba made it. Now, what about you, Egwe? Nope, I did it wrong. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> You need to push the box out the way. And then you can do it. Okay, perfect. We've helped Yegwe now. Uh, and then, oh, because I think Yegwe can't go there. Oh, look! Oh, he looks so distressed. I'm sorry, Yegwe. What about Goba? Oh, he also looks distressed. <laughs> it's okay, Yegwe. We can, we can, you can make it there. Oh, it's so cute. I love this game. <laughs> this is so random. And this got a lot trickier. What? Okay. Okay. Was I supposed to do that? I'm not sure, but I've done it now. <laughs> Hmm. That's not gonna do it. Hmm. Hmm. I think I've done this wrong. Let me start from the beginning. How do you restart a level? Can you restart a level? Maybe you can just leave and come back. Oh, okay. Reset. I've reset it. Okay. Hmm. Let's try this, and then doing this. Okay, I think I've set that up for Goba. Now Goba should be able to go down here. Nope. Go this way. And 
and then go this way. Oh, oh, okay. And then go that way. Can go this way. I think. And then go this way. And then go back. And then you can go back over here. And then Goba can also go over here. Okay, what level am I on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm having a great time. Um, how do I? Well, this one looks tricky. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I think I'm using too much brain power for this. Let me. Let me see. What level did I get up to? Oh, like how far in the game did I get? <laughs> Cause I. I think I did quite a few levels there. Like a lot. Oh no, I have like three. Okay, we we can leave that for now. I can do those last few off stream before I get too distracted by playing the mini game. However, I think it's a valid distraction. That was quite an entertaining mini game, but I could see it was getting a lot trickier. Could I have done it? Probably. Was it a good idea to do it just then? Probably not. <laughs> What's this? Oh, okay. That's a good. That's good. Um. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Okay. Why? What are you telling me? Oh, just telling me I haven't finished it. That's okay. I know I haven't finished this yet. Um. Okay. I think we need to actually just continue with the quest. That would. Oh! What is this? Okay. I will claim some rewards. Ah, I haven't quite got enough. Oh. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna have to invite Garming because we don't have Garming yet. But like, wow. Wait, what happens if I click this? What is this? Ah. You see? Oh. oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. That's adorable. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. We are going to continue. Presumably with the quest. What is this? Is this the quest we were actually doing? I think it is. Oh, we're never gonna, <laughs> we're never gonna get anywhere with this. We got so distracted, we are nowhere close. I did want to check quickly whether or not we can find Yao Yao in uh, Lira Harbor because I figured if she's here, she's gonna be with Madame Ping. Might as well check. And then we can go, we can just teleport to Chenyu Vale, which will be a lot easier than trying to run there. So good thing we already explored the area last time. <laughs> so we have all of the teleport waypoints unlocked. This is going to be surprisingly beneficial. It's going to be good. the box. Oh, oh, Madam Ping. Where's Yao Yao? Hello, Madam Ping. Oh, goodbye, Madam Ping. I was hoping for Yao Yao to be here celebrating Lantern Rite, but she, but she was not. But that's okay. We're going to teleport to wherever we're supposed to be going, which is over here, right by the Statue of the Seven. Perfect. <laughs> Also, all of these chicken suggestions are terrible. Oh, uh, you can go up those with friends? I think you can. I thought it said that you could, but I don't know. We'll have to find out, maybe. <laughs> oh gosh, Hooty chicken. And yes, I have already drawn the Mr. Blobby chicken. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, where are we going? Uh, Garming. Gumming, I'm sorry I left you to get all the way here by yourself when we were supposed to be traveling together. But that's okay. Are those new birds? Uh, oh, what did it say? I didn't read it. <laughs> Probably something about making it here, okay? Um, let's see, let's see. Uh -huh. Wait, the treasure hoarders? Oh! Gumming! Oh, that's a claymore! Huh. 
<laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> that's such a cool little move. Okay, okay, let's... That's not who I meant to be. I meant to be Gami. Oh, we haven't quite defeated them all. There's one left, but that's okay. We can do this completely unnecessarily. Oh, put his hat on. Oh no, there's more. There's more. This was necessary then. <laughs> Such a silly little thing. I love it. I love it. It's so fun. Like they really did not need to make him do a little little jump at the end there, but they did. They did it anyway, and I can appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Ugh, seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. I was impressed by your moves back then. You seem like a real pro at your job. But that's not a skill I learned at the job, it's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of Wushu dancing? Uh, I don't think so. Really, Wushu dancing is famous in Chinyu Vale. Rumors might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, as well, there are nothing on the popularity of the Liyue Opera. I'm also well aware people in Liyue Harbour aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wushu dancing. This is not something I do full time. Now you have two jobs. How do you have the energy to do all of that? It's all that tiring, you just have to take a rest. Haven't gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really, just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh, um, let's go, the doctor's just up ahead. Okay, okay. I have missed. Oh, well, there's a. Now he walks up forward and he changes a few words to the boatman near the dock. The next thing you know, he's called to everyone to board a bamboo raft. But I was gonna fight the... Oh, I was gonna fight the bird! Now uh, finally we can rest, Pyma struggles so stiff and her stomach so empty. So sorry, did I push this pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. These are just too hilly, floating up and down so much worse, Pyma went out. Ah, Pyma's finally satisfied and now her poor stomach's empty again. Would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Yes, Paimon will take all you've got. You might want to pace yourself there or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. No such thing with Paimon. Ah, uh, Paimon never gets too full. Just like, oh, just like you apparently never get tired no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. I see, then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Keiko, enjoy. And here's some for you too, Uncle... Most you don't think I forgot about you. My friend, I'll just head it on the side here for you. For you. Uh, Gami seems like a real people person. You can get along with everyone, and he treats every person he meets like a close friend. Ah, that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. Uh, that close of a cool, huh? I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavour. If you like those ones, I can give you the address on the shop I brought them from. Now I'll just have to check when we get back. Ah, all oh my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace. Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. It's okay, Paimon's kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chatter. Oh, I fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? Uh huh. Hey, Paimon can be in a good mood anytime she wants. No, it's true. A fed Paimon is a happy Paimon. Ah, uh, you totally lose yourself in the beauty of the surrounding scenery. Before you know it, you are greeted by the sight of Yilong Wharf. Ah, oh, I remember this place. <laughs> uh, woohoo, we're here. Invite your things and watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. So the ride, Uncle Bosu, just take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. I have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. The elevator. I'm sure we'll be fine. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. 
Thanks again and have a great day.